Okay, well, this is the big day I've been waiting for for 30 years. Gonna test these on steam now. Don't know how it's gonna come out. I have no clue. I'm here today at the PLS, our, my home club, and there's not a soul around. I got here at 8.30 in the morning. It's drizzling out here, but we got a nice overhead, thanks to the club here. Got a nice overhead roof. And you might hear that ding, ding, ding on the roof. Well, that's the raindrops. Raindrops. There must be raindrops. Okay, anyway. Up on the roof. Anyway, I hope you like my humor. Anyhow, um, I got the two ball valves in here in between the safeties. This is a super scale, which I know works for safety. And this is my new one here, the one that's the one that's the lower one of this one. Okay, so I've got them both in there, and uh, I'm ready to test them. Now I wanted to show you, just for comparison, coming up here close to the camera, this here on your left is a super scale, and this one is a, I'm going to call it a Mercer. And mine is obviously a little bit taller, a little bit fatter, but... I made my own. I didn't copy nobody. So, can't say that. I bought my uh, got a little bench set up over here. Got the engine ready to fire up. We're going to fire it up now and uh, see what happens. So, when I'm under pressure, we'll be back. Alright, uh, got her let off. You can hear it. That hiss, the higher hissing you hear is the air leaking. But the lower one, that's the blower going. So, just let it off. We probably got 15, got 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. I'll be up to steam pressure and we'll see what the valves are going to do. Okay, that's the first pop off. It popped right on the 120, exactly where I set it on air. But now the blowdown ring needs to be uh, adjusted because you got the volume of the steam now changes that. So I have to adjust that up a little bit. But otherwise, it popped like a son of a gun. I'll get it to pop for you again. Hold on. Pressure great. It's holding five pounds right now. Holding. I got the injector on. Got a seat. Got a reseat. Uh, that's 10 pounds. All right, now we're going to run it again. 10 pounds. Coming up at 115. Hey, Super Scout one is wheezing too. There it goes. Right on, baby. 120. I'll just shut that for a second. Get the other one to pop. Hey. The same thing. Okay. Got it set pretty good now. Number one valve, which is the fourth one, number four, but the first valve I tried, is now popping off right on the money, 120. About two pounds, boom, shuts down. So I'm going to do it for you now. Got high water, and that makes a difference too. It holds that valve up a little bit longer. I 
want it to pop natural. Shut the oh, help with the put some coal in here. Pound. Beautiful. 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 So far, so good. Okay. Second one, I replaced the super scale, put mine in there, my higher pressure one. Pops right off 125, three seats about 120. I want them a little bit higher, uh, longer delay because that's the purpose of it. The second one is relieving the pressure. And, and down to match the other one, so that's the way they should be. One should be the one that works all the time. A 120 valve should be about two pound differential. The 125 valve should be about five pound differential, and that's the way I got them set. And they work perfectly, man. Work perfectly. I'm gonna really turn it up now. Let's just see if one doesn't go off. There's the one, the original one, the 120. I've uh, relieved so much that it won't even pull the second one. There she goes. Alright, now the boat's going off and open the injector, cool them down. Now we'll, this one's going to shut down first on that one. Oh, there she goes, just shut down. Yep. There you go. Now, the number one valve, when I first started firing up, it was weeping a little bit. Now I see it starting to break in a little bit. And I got to get a little bit finer compound. There she goes again. And run it in there a little bit. And get it a little bit tighter. But that's the idea of having a steam plant because it was tight on air or I couldn't see it on air. But now I can see it on steam, so. There you go. Now I can put the other two in and set them up. And I'm out here all by myself. Not a soul around. No witnesses. Only you guys on the YouTube. My buddies. Okay, I'm going to put the higher pressure one in now. My little buck. That's number two. Well, I deem this a success. Uh, now we've got to go back, tool up, get some castings made up, uh, molds for castings, and uh, get some investment castings made for the body and for the couple of the small parts. The other ones I'll turn up. And it uh, looks like I'm going to try to make up 100 first shot. Well, I'm out here all by myself. It had a little rain today. It's not raining now. It's dry. You know what? I'm going out on that track. Things are working beautiful, so I'm going to give it a try. Here we go. Well, you can hear the engine there. It's right next to me right here. Running beautiful, man. Air compression's maintaining at 160, 70 pounds. I got the cutout cock off, so I don't have to worry about the, the uh, tender brakes coming on, but they work on straight air, too, so I work on about 30 pounds of air just running around like... 
having a ball. Nobody here. But the whole club to myself. Safety valves. That's Ronald. Off he goes. Well, what can I say? Another successful run, another successful day. What better morning you want than this? This is great, man. Life's good. See you on the next video.